Welcome guys. Today we're going to make our version of the Asteroid Game. And as you can see, we have a new guest. Her name is... Hi everyone, my name is Olivia, but you can call me Liv because it's cooler. Um, and I am a computer and information science major here at The Ohio State University. What is your favorite game, Olivia? My favorite game is Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker Classic. specifically. My favorite game franchise is Zelda, of course. Um, what is your favorite class here? Uh, I would have to say our web apps class is very fun. You learn a lot of different web technologies, including JavaScript. Uh, we made a game in JavaScript, so that's pretty, cool, pretty cool. cool. Cool, So today, Liv is going to help us out, and hopefully we can make our own version of the classic 1980s asteroid game. Our version is going to be called Planet Toys, and as always, we're going to make sure that our version is very physics-based because our professor, Dr. Orban, love himself some physics. So let's jump right into the editor. And first things first, let's see what is going on. Let's press play. And as always, we don't want this console being here, so let's get rid of that. Click the screen, step to the side. So uh, press the right arrow, nothing happened. The left arrow, nothing happened. Down, nothing happened, but up. We got motion. Yeah. So our goal in this game is to make this ship do multi-dimensional space travel. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> first things first, as you can see, we cannot turn our ship. So Liv, do you have any ideas to start this journey? Yeah. Something we can do is take a look here. Hmm. I s let's go down. I see when we're at least trying to uh, do stuff with the left and right arrows. You know, you're, nothing's really happening to theta. Theta is plus equals 0, 0.0. So we should probably change that to some non-zero value. What do you think? Uh, what should we change it to? I think 0. 0.1. 0.1? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, left arrow, point 0.1, and then we want to have it go in the different direction, so we'll do negative, uh, plus equals negative 0 0.1, and so let's, let's test that out then. So we'll do that, and then we'll see here that, oh, it's starting to move around a little bit. See here when we're shifting left and right, going right, I'm pressing and holding down the right arrow key and now going left pressing and holding down the right arrow key but I still see a problem here like no matter what left and right it's still just moving in the x direction right right so let's see okay so we have motion we have the ship turning different directions but we do not have the ship going up or down so we want to be able to move in order to avoid the planetoids that we will have in the game later on so Let's, let me jump over there. Oh, yeah, of course. Let me start hacking away and seeing what we can do to have the ship move in the vertical direction. So let's look at the different sections of the code. And um, similar to what we did in Move the Blob and Accelerate uh, the Blob, we always work in the update location area, in this area right here. So we have a value for x. Um, it's been incremented, the plus equal, as we talked before. So let's do the same thing for y. So let's start off with y plus equal vy times dt. And um, just because I am a nerd and a uh, clean freak, we will tab it in to make it look all symmetrical. So Oh, yeah, I got to keep that indentation level the same, man. Absolutely, you know. absolutely. So let's play it. Click the screen. Let me move out the way and... So we got the turn in as we did before, but we still don't have the motion in the vertical direction, and this is not going to be a fun game if we don't implement that. So, Liv, mm -hmm. take it away. All right, let's see. Well, let's see here. So we got Y here, so that's good. Let's stop the... All right, well, I see uh, updating velocities is also... Um, not updating the the vy variable so i think we should do that as well so we'll add that in here 
And um, I think that should uh, fix our problems here. So let's try that this time. And it doesn't seem to have helped us very much. Um, hmm. So key thing here is not to get frustrated. Let's think about what's going on in the code. Let's actually try to try to predict instead of just trying things. So if we look at our code, we changed update location, we changed update velocity. We, that's similar to what we've done and move and accelerate the blob, but we still don't have motion. So one of the key things to notice is that we have a value for everything besides delta vy. Okay, so let's see. We have a, we don't have a value for delta vx either. We have a zero. We keep scrolling down. Let's let's just try to figure out why it's just not working. So we scroll down to this particular section right here. We see that delta vx is being set to a particular value, a sorry x and a times dt. And therefore, we also see that a sorry x is set to another value. So we want the same thing for delta vy. So let's just try to mimic the same thing for the x in the x direction. Let's mimic the same thing for the y direction, OK? So let me quickly type in the exact same thing, however, making sure that this is for the y direction. And um, let's quickly do this. So all we're trying to do is trying to make this ship move in a vertical direction. And we tried what we usually do and what we did in Accelerate and to move the blob, but it didn't work. So this particular section of the code is not as familiar with us. So let's see if just copying the same thing, let's see if this will work. OK, and um, let me save this. And, I forgot the, you need to capitalize the V there between the A and the Y. Excel V, Y there. Oh, and yeah, that is there you why go. you're here, right? Because no, uh, Delta, right there. That is why you're here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I, something told me, like, I need a guest. I need someone to help bring this, sh this video to the next level. And I'll say, live is the person. So let's save it. Let's play it. Let me move out the way, click the screen, and let's start the motion. Ta-da! Oh, oh, oh there so we, go. we got motion. OK. Um, but it's not really, hmm. it seemed awkward to me. Yeah. It seemed weird. Do you have any ideas why that may happen, why, why, why this ship is doing weird things? Yeah, you know what? I think it might be because we have uh, right here, we're using, or let me stop this. I think it's because we're using cosine for both acceleration in the x and y direction. That now I'm not a, like a physics trigonometry like you know yeah. I'm none of those things, but I it doesn't really look right to me here. Yeah. So let's jump to the light board and let's figure out what is going on. So let me get your attention and um, let's talk about what's going on. So.